Welcome my gorgeous friends to another video of the series. So in this video we're gonna start conditional. So by opening Dev C++ wait until this opens we have our interface ready so we open as always include our header file IO stream then namespace standard and then also the int main with the necessary return zero within the curly braces so this was our container and all the code goes inside as usual okay so we've been discussing about C out, we've been discussing about C in, we've been discussing about integers, we've been discussing about other types of integers, uh, data types like float, like double, like bool, there. So we've been doing a lot right now. And now it's time for one of the most important parts of programming. And that is the real power where we say conditionals like if and else these words are going to be very common to you after this video so first thing is first what are conditionals like basically if we want one instruction to be followed after the next instruction if one condition one condition is true then the program runs one part of the program and if the other condition is true it will execute the other part and will leave the first part and by giving an example everything will be easier to understand so my example, what we're going to be doing is first we're going to have two numbers and it's going to be like the famous greater than less than one up example. So if we have an integer a is equal to 10 and we have another integer a is equal, b is equal to 11 by, by common sense, you know that b is greater than a. So how do I do conditionals with this? So I'm going to use the if keyword with the uh, inside the curly braces I'm gonna put a greater than B now this is the condition inside the curly uh, parentheses and then we're gonna put add some curly braces and we're gonna say if a is greater than B then we're gonna con uh, console output a is greater than B and if it's not we'll write else and then no parentheses inside this and just say that B is greater than A. So in this case, you have A, if A is greater than B, it's gonna print this statement. And if it's not, it's gonna print B is greater than A. And in this case, of course, the program will check the uh, variables a and b and the values are stored 10 and 11 so basically those values will be checked and then executed and by your guesses this uh, statement should be running so when I can save this I'm gonna have to name this as something so I call it code 5 and then I go to my execute button and compile and run so let's see which statement is gonna be executed on the terminal screen and there you go b is greater than a so as expected we got our result so what happens if we say for instance we put a as 11 and b as 11 what's going to happen so it's going to check if a is greater than b it's not so it's not going to be printing this else it's going to be b is it's not equal but let's see what happens so it's not going to be b is greater than a let's see what happens so compile and run and uh oh b is greater than a this statement as expected executed because this was false and whatever the statement after uh, the else block occurs it's gonna be executed automatically it's not gonna contest anything because this is just like an else condition uh for this for a solution we could write else if now else if is another condition and inside this now we could include our uh parentheses and our condition that if b is greater than a then it's gonna print this. So if I save this and then execute now, what do you think will be appearing on the terminal screen? And if your guess was nothing, that is correct. Nothing is appearing on the terminal screen. So how do I print equals? Well, then we're gonna have to write another else statement after the else if statement and give, put our double uh, parentheses. Uh, I mean, sorry, not parentheses, but these double squiggly brackets, whatever you wanna call them, braces. And then we're gonna write C out a is equal to b so 
save this and execute and voila a is equal to b so yeah this was basic in the next video we're gonna have an example that could match real life with conditionals and also we're gonna introduce ourselves with loops in c so i'm excited i hope you guys are excited see you in the next one cheers